Now that we have defined the sets, we have graphically represented the sets. Now we start doing some elementary operations on sets. Okay, so we now do some operations on sets. Okay. Now let us say I have I have a set 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 a okay we just say something like one two three four right there's another set set b which is like three four five six right so so let us try to first of all represent them graphically so inevitably whenever you are drawing a graph you have to show the universal set okay okay and this universal set contains these two sets Normally, it is shown as as a, 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 a circle, but but even if it is some different shape, it does not matter. Okay, so so I have my set A as set. This is my set B. This is this is my set A, and set A has an element one and two. And, and, and 3 and 4 are common to both, so I'll have to write 3 somewhere here, and then 4 somewhere here, right? And, and, and 5, 6 are absolutely, kind of, solely belong to set B, so, so we write it like that, right? Now we define the union of the two sets, right? So, so union of the sets right union of the sets now the word union is equivalent to the word addition right what you're trying to do is you you have maybe a maybe a maybe a basket that that consists of this and a basket that consists of this and what you are trying to do is, you are trying to pour the contents of basket A and basket B into another basket called basket C. So what will you see in this basket? You will see there is, you will you, see there is this one, there is this two, there is this three and there is this the four and, 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 and another three and another four okay and, and say a five and say a six right this is what will be contained in this basket now if this basket is nothing but a set then we know that the repetitions are defunct so so there's a four here there's a four here maybe i'm i have nothing to do with this four right and, and there is a three here and there's another three here so maybe i have nothing to do with this three okay so what am I essentially left with? One, two, three, four, five, and six. And that is what the union of set stands for. Okay. So, so, so we we first give the definition that that the union of the two sets, the union of two sets, A and B. Okay is the is is now a new set right is a, a set that contains all elements that contains that contains all the elements or or or, or, or I, I can say it is a set c right it, it is a new set c 
that contains all those elements that contains all those elements which belong to the set a which which are either in set a or in set b including those which are in both including those which are in which are in both right including those which are in both right and we represent we represent the union by by a, a, a symbol we, we represent union by the symbol this which looks pretty close to 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 a, a u that we had the u for the universal set that we had talked about earlier and that is the reason that is the reason we kind of do not put we we we, we try to distinguish we try to distinguish the universal set by writing it like this and putting putting these dashes over, 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 over these two arms and here we just leave it like that okay so so we represent it by this symbol okay and 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 how do i write it in symbols so so if i have a set a and i want the union of this set with another set b so we write a union b is the set of is the set of all x is the set of all x such that x such that x belongs to the set a or x belongs to the set b right this or that okay so it means that it may belong to both okay but we know that we write it only once fine so so in this case in, in the examples that we have above with which we started we will say that a union b this is a set in itself and that is represented by 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 right now what does it look like on a venn diagram right what does it look like on a venn diagram it kind of becomes the it kind of becomes the whole thing the whole eight kind of thing that you see here let me kind of dab it right so 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 here yeah, if, if i try to paint it it will look something like this okay And also this, right? It's it's something like like this.
right so this whole thing the whole thing that i have shown here the whole thing together together kind of forms this okay this right this is what is a union b for us right this whole region that means everything that is contained within this that will come in the domain of a union b understand now there are certain properties of of the union of the sets right so the properties of properties of the union of the sets right the first property is that the, the first property is that the union is commutative so a union b is b union a right this is called the commutative law okay fine you, you can you can actually see that either i i do the union of a with b or 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 union of b with a i'll get the same thing right the second thing is is if i have three sets right so so three sets then it does not matter in which order you take their union so so you take this or you take this they'll be equal and this is the associative law right this is the associative law okay now what happens if i if i take the union of a with that of phi null set okay if i add nothing to a what do we expect a to be we expect it to be a and to that extent since since phi has been added and it does not change the identity of a it lets it remain like that so phi is the identity element of with respect to union so phi is the identity element identity element with respect to the union of the of the sets right what is an identity element let us say we 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 are concerned with with let us say we are concerned with let us say we are concerned with 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 the the mere addition right so so let us say 2 what should i add to 2 so that the identity of this does not change that means it remains 2 it is zero so this becomes the identity element identity element with respect to to addition right with addition algebraic addition and hence is also called called additive identity additive identity right is also called additive identity understand okay this call an identity element fine now what happens what happens if a 
unions with a we take a union a it gives you a itself no it gives you a itself this is called idempotent law idempotent law right something that operates on on the on on itself and gives you the same that is called an idempotent element right so zero plus zero giving you zero so zero is the idempotent law right one into one giving you one is idempotence right so so in a similar manner a union a gives you a so that is idempotent law fine now now we come to the next so so what is the universal set when when a universal set union a right what happens it will give you u no this is called the law of u the universal set right this is called law of u This is called the law of U. Okay. Now, once we are done with this, we can we can go on to discuss the intersection of sets, right?